good morning. It is like 6.30 in the morning. Um, it's Friday. And my son is here with my granddad this morning. And I'm going to... Um, I've planned out a route. And I've planned out which dumpsters to check. And I'm just going to do my little route. And check the dumpsters and see if I can find anything. It's dark in my car, so I'm sure see that you can't see me very well until it brightens back up. See, you can't see me. Let's see, now you can a little bit. So, I'm going to just have a little bit of light there in hopes that you can see me enough. Or I will just, I wonder if we can pop. All right. I can pause my video. I didn't know I can do that. Okay, y'all, I don't know if there's anything on Fridays. I'm at a dumpster, I'm at the Dollar General. So I'm gonna turn my camera around, see if you can see anything. actually look like they have been torn open and gone through and there's only a couple of bags in there so I don't know I'm gonna leave the camera like that because I'm pulling up to this next one and I'm gonna try this one and see if there's anything in here and I, I'm so nervous and I'm so scared okay let's look in this one just like, um, I'm just dumpster diving. <laughs> I'm just dumpster diving. I'm not throwing anything away. So I'm not dumping. So I'm going to try this one. Okay, y'all can watch from the side now. I'll take, take these down. I don't know if y'all can see me. Oh my god. buckets stacked together and I thought well I'll try to grab and see if there's anything in these buckets but um, 
It looks like they had stuff in them. Here's like three trash bags full of stuff, but it's probably just maybe it's a trash they didn't get. Did I'm not gonna check especially now since there's that person came over there and they know I'm over here dumpster diving. If they call the police, then you know. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this area and go to the next. Since a person came out, I don't know what he could be doing. I don't know if he could be calling the police to come over here in this area or what. So we are going to go ahead and go to up the street to Dollar Tree. Okay, we are at Dollar Tree in Coles. There are a few cars in the parking lot. Um, there's a truck over here parked. Some red car. I don't see anybody in them, but I don't see lights on. And inside the store, there's also a gold gym over here. And there's a vehicle over here. And I don't know if anybody's in it or not. I can't tell. Everybody starts to follow me. Oh look, there's dumpsters and they're all behind something. Here's one. I'm gonna check these real quick. Okay. I hope y'all can I hope y'all can see these dumpsters. Thing. Um, that one dumpster, sorry, that one dumpster is nothing but leaves filled to the top with just leaves. And the other one is car, just a bunch of cardboard boxes. I tried moving some of them and lifting some of them, and it's just like looks like it's just all boxes. So to drive around. See if I have my broken glasses in here. And this is Friday. I gotta find which days are gonna be good for me to go dumpster diving and which days aren't good. And which dumpsters are good and which dumpsters aren't good. So that's why I kind of mopped, mapped me out the plan to start doing and then just like following that plan when I go dumpster diving until I kind of figure out which days are good you know and to do this and which days aren't so good and which dumpsters are going to be my good dumpsters 
and which ones aren't. So now my next plan is to shoot straight across the street over here. There's a nail spa over here and a studio and a couple of other places. So I'm going to shoot straight across and it doesn't look like I can go around the building on that side so I will go this way. Um, there's an Anytime Fitness, a flower place, a massage place, um, the body something, I don't know, sushi, gentle dental, uh, cookies, some chef place, pool supplies, I don't know if I can drive behind these buildings. Like I said, I don't know, and there's Goodwill. So. Okay, let me put you on pause to like check this, these two, and see if there's anything real quick. I think my best bet is going to be more like apartment complexes for me. I don't feel as scared and as nervous because being in businesses, the police can always come and tell you to stop. And then sometimes some of these have no trespassing. Um, I still have a few more places to check this morning. Oh. And my thing stopped playing and started a new video. Ugh, shucks. Okay, we're going to another place. Okay, I have found that Fridays does not seem to be a good day. But, I came to my go-to apartments. And they never let me down. These apartments <laughs> never let me down. I was like, okay, I'm going to check my go-to apartment and go home. And I found something. Not much. A bag back here. It looks like there's some shoes in it and stuff. So, I'm going to check this apartment complex over here. And then, I'm going to call it an end and go home. But, they say that's how it is sometimes. You can go out and you can go looking all day long and find and then find nothing. But <laughs> I found, I found. I'm like excited now. It makes you, it does. It is like kind of really exciting when you've 
been looking and looking and looking and looking and then you, you don't find anything and then the very last place you look it's like you find something and now I'm like one more place one more place so I can't see a thing with the sun shining down on me the way it is and I'm not seeing a dumpster over here there's one. Oh, sorry. There's somebody coming out. So now I don't want to stop and look. Somebody is coming out. I don't think real early in the mornings is a great time to go to apartment complexes just because everybody is like coming out of them and going to work getting ready to go to work so, but that apartment complex that I might go to one it's like there's I don't ever see anybody out there and I go in the mornings I gotta turn around I go in the mornings but I don't ever see anybody I'm gonna put my glasses on, y'all. My broken glasses. I wonder if this says private property anywhere. I don't know. Dumpster rules, residents only. No digging. So it says no digging. It says secure your bag, digging or scavenging prohibited. Okay, so we won't do that here because their sign and I don't want to get in trouble so my golly we'll try the one right next to it and we're gonna try the one over here on this other side well I mapped out my routine today which kind of seemed to, you know, work pretty good. But I've learned that, I guess, Fridays isn't a good day to do this. Because most of the business dumpsters and everything, they look, they pretty much look empty. Like they've already been dumped. So, anyways, here. There was like snowboards in that dumpster, but there's no way I'm pulling those out of there. Two big like really broken snowboards. Big. The only thing broken on them were the foot where you put your feet. So they weren't no on there. On I thought about going back later to get them, out. but I couldn't get them by no myself. Dumpster. So um, I never went back to try to get them. And the one next to it was empty. Fridays are not good days. You'd think they would be. But I. It's seeming to be not good. Check these and go home. Oh. Okay. Not to be a good dive I pretty much came up 
empty except for the little bit that I did find in my go-to apartments. Sorry, y'all. Okay. So, Fridays are a no-go. Fridays are evidently a no-go because just about every single dumpster I've looked in today, except for that one apartment complex, they were all empty. Yes, that was a snort. I'd probably be better off going to um, and looking for curbside pickups. You know, searching Greg's list and stuff like that, and then seeing what we can find. So, that was that. No luck. I think it's time to just head home. So, that's that. Okay, here are the dumpster dive find from earlier today, and I don't know why I didn't turn my camera on when I saw this laying on top of the dumpster, so you could have <sighs> seen it, but see, it's ripped on the side, but I can sew that, and it had, this is, I mean, it had all this stuff in it, so there's a pair of size 8 shoes. And then there was this, Planet Earth, Planet Earth, and then that one, and this one, and it's a DVD set or collection, I don't know, Planet Earth, the complete series, but there's like two of them missing. And then, of course, another notepad. And one of the things I forgot to show you guys in my last video is that I found two bags. And I forgot about them because I had them in the washing machine. And three um, notepads. <laughs> They're always, I'm always finding notepads, it seems like. Okay. Then, there were these boots. And those are cute. They're kind of nice. They're a little dirty. I don't know if I could clean that up or or what. And they are a size six and a half. And then there was these shoes. And these shoes are a size seven. All these shoes are like different sizes. And then there was another shoe, but there was only one of them. I'm like, I should have gone back this morning. There goes the cat. <laughs> to find the, um, to find the other one. But, I didn't. Because these are, like, nice. I'm like, still, they're a Diaz. And they're five and a half. I wish I had the other one, right? And then the, some yucky, like, squeezable things stress things and I'm probably just going to throw those out yeah and then there's this old potato masher so I'll probably keep that I like old kitchen utensils and I think I have a couple more old kitchen utensils inside so if I could display them on something like really nice and then maybe like sell it all in a garage sale I don't know that's just one of my thoughts and then there's some trash. So what I'm probably going to do, because this is a cute little pop-up, and it looks like they bought it from somewhere. It has a tag on it. I don't know. But I'll probably end up giving that to my daughter. And then giving her the size 8 shoes. Those were not the size 8s, but these size 8 shoes. And when the rest, I will... Donate or hold on to to put into a garage sale when the weather starts getting warmer. 
But anyways, those were my finds. So I wanted to share and make sure I added it to the end of this video. Thank y'all for watching Inconsistent Days. And don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.